Hey everyone, back for another movie review. Today we're going to be going to 1962. This is another movie based on a true story. Be, this, there seems to be a lot of them coming out recently, uh, and this is no different. And this is another one that's actually going to be going for award, contendership. Either for best picture, best screenwriting, and quite possibly uh, best actor. Um, so what are we talking about? I'm talking about the latest movie from Peter Fairley of all people, uh, Green Book. Okay, Green Book is the story of a pianist by the name of Don Shirley who commissions a driver to take him on his tour of the South. Base, uh, the, South. Um, the driver by the name of Tony the Lip. He's a very Italian person. Uh, this stars Viggo Mortensen and Masharia Ali. This is a really good movie. I was shocked that it, this is a very period piece, it takes place in 1962 uh, for the last two months and uh, Donald, uh, Don Shirley hires Tony to not only be his driver but more or less to be his protector. Uh, the doctor, uh, Don Shirley, obviously knows that he's heading into troubled areas in the south during, during the 60s so he specifically sought out Viggo Mortensen's character, uh, Tony, because he knows, he's heard stories of him, he's heard his reputation. And this movie is exactly kind of what you think it is. It's like a buddy road trip movie or an odd couple movie where they end up becoming a buddy um, road trip. And we get to see how the South works and how... Um, Ali's character, who's the pianist, has to deal with the fact that he is an African American and the South in the 60s was not exactly the most friendliest of places for his type of people. Well, still not, but that's a different story. Um, and he tries to, along the way, culture Tony into realizing um, what he's doing isn't exactly great. There are some, there are a lot of stereotypes in this movie, uh, especially the the whole thing with Tony. He is an Italian American. He's from the Bronx, so he has that very stereotypical "Hey, Goomba" style of talking. He is very streetish. Um, he was formerly an employee of the Copacabana, and there he was more or less the heavy. He was the person who someone was acting up in the club. He's more or less a bouncer, and he wasn't afraid to uh, get into fisticuffs with people. And they have very good chemistry, Ali and Vigo more. And see, Vigo I haven't seen in, uh, since a history of violence, I haven't seen him in a movie before. And in this movie, he is so charming. He alone lights up the room whenever he talks and with his weird obsession with food. He eats a lot in this movie. And a whole lot, I mean. Um, he's just so charming in this movie. And even in his uh, mannerisms, when he's being this tough guy, he still has this, like, kind of softness about him. But also he has this, this rough edge around him. He has a chip on his shoulder because he is trying to support his family. Um, he has two kids and, and a wife in the Bronx and, you know, he's going all away for two months and he's going to be a, away from them, obviously. And he just, he kind of has like that, that teddy bear exterior, but like if you push him, he is not afraid. He is very quick tempered. There are scenes where he just straight up decks people in the face. And Ali's character is trying to show him that, you know, you kind of have to be a better person. And they have the usual scenes that you would get from these two type of people. Uh, Ali's character is a pianist. He is very upper class. He is very worldly. He speaks with big, big words compared to what Tony's used to. Uh, he's big into enunciation and just, you know, very creative of that type. Very scholarly like. And Vigo's a street dude. 
So you have their kind of interplay, which makes up the bulk of the movie, and it's a good thing they both have chemistry, because if not, um, you know, the movie really wouldn't work, because th that's basically who we see the whole movie. Um, Ali, as Don Shirley, was really good as well. He, he, can, he played this worldly, classly, classness to himself, but he also has a different side of him where he's lonely because he's a person who is seen as a traitor by regular especially in the south black people because he is this upper classy person he is a well-dressed person he's a well-spoken person but at the same time he's not accepted by white people because while he is they are paying him to do all this stuff he still is black um one of the things i learned about this is in the movie uh, they explain that he, uh, Viggo Mortensen get, gets what's called a green book and basically the book is a, a driver's guide to let you know where the white driver can stay and where the black passenger has to stay because they in some places they can't be in the same place. It does hint on various facets of racism including uh, police injustice, um, being in this, you know, just not, you know, realizing that, you know, Ali's character can't be in certain places and white people will let him know it. One, another good thing about this movie is it never gets too sappy. Their tendency with these type of movies to try to make it warm and cuddly or you know go the opposite direction and just make it realize that uh, uh, Don, Don Shirley's character Don Shirley's character is completely and totally oppressed they, he does have moments where he shines um, and he's allowed to shine by white people but just not in every situation so I really like that if there was one negative thing I'm gonna say about this movie is I kinda wish that Don Surly was the main character and not Tony the Lip. Because while we get a lot of the movie through him, especially he's missing his family, I kind of thought the more interesting story was Surly's character. Because he talks about not having a family, not talking about, he talks about uh, not speaking to his brother and and not really having a family. And at one point, they mentioned something that I kind of glad it didn't come up at the end but then again at the end they have something else where I was like oh I knew that was gonna come including a fake out but this is a really good movie I that's probably my only dislike of the movie I thought they chose the wrong character but that's not to say anything against Viggo Mortensen's performance because he was spectacular this movie has a very good sense of humor as well there's a running gag where Tony's trying to write letters to his uh, wife back home and eventually the doctor starts helping him out with the letters um, and it has a really good payoff at the end of the movie this is a really good movie I hope more people see it it didn't really do well this past weekend um, in limited performance I think they kind of opened it in way too many theaters it was opened in 25 and this is one of those movies like 8th grade uh, like last year, like they did with The Shape of Water, should have co kind of o only opened in like two or four theaters. Um, the screening I went to today, though, was pretty packed, so it's looking up, and it's going to get a wider release uh, later this later this week. So, yeah, that's my th uh, my score nine, easy. Green Book's a really good movie. Go out of your way to see it. Um, I like the fact also that it didn't feel pandering um, to one demographic or the other. But it was, you know, a strong friendship, and I always love movies like this where at the end they start telling you facts about the real characters. Um, also, just to throw this out there, uh, this was directed by Peter Fairley, one of the Fairley brothers. He also directed uh, Dumb and Dumber, and you can tell <clears throat> there is humor in this movie, so it, it's not completely dry. There's a lot of humor in this movie. Viggo Mortensen is really good. Um, but yeah, that's my thought on the Green Book. Um, what are, do you plan on seeing the Green Book uh, sometime soon, if you have? 
already seen it, let me know what you thought about it. Like, subscribe in the comments, put it in the comments below, and I will talk to you with another movie review later. Bye.